in this video I'm going to be uh, showing you how to do cross page posting I mean so that uh, you can send information from one page to the next so and um, how do we do that um, just like I said uh, in the last video the button has a property known as um, post back URL which allows you to send information from the current page to the next page that you specify here so what we're going to do here is add a new item let's add a new item which is a new page and I'm going to call that one the result the result page result dot ASPX uh, should we place the code in a separate file mm, yes why not okay um, I'm going to add the page so this is the page now so when I go to the design view because this is the page that will be receiving the uh, uh, data from the previous page so I want to add a label and uh, on our page default 3 we actually send in the name of somebody so now let's get the result and use um, this label to display the name of the person when the person is directed here so now let's go back and set it, the button um, post back URL to result page so that will be the result.aspx that's where the, the result is going to go so um, what else do we set um, that's it really so now all we have to do is just go back to the uh, our result page and uh, start the coding so what will happen is when you click on the when you go to the when you come to this new page remember this is the result page and because the result page we don't know anything about the previous page so we have to make sure that th there's actually a previous page so we have to use an if statement if previous page if previous page previous page is not remember I told you how to use this exclamation mark not is not equals to null that means if the if the previous page actually exists then we want to perform something so if the previous the first thing I want to perform is we want to actually uh, because remember here uh, inside your this place we declare uh, text box uh, we have a text box where's our text box? it's text box 1 like for example if I start typing here now you can see that if I say text box 1 we can see that we can see text box 1 here because it's declared on this page but if I go to the result page and do the same thing text box can you see we cannot see the text box 1 because it's not declared here so it doesn't know where to find it because it's not on this page it's not it doesn't know anything so that's what we have to find the text box control first from the previous page so text box and this is how to do it um, if you don't know C sharp you can write this one down this is how to find control from another page text box 1 equals to we have to type cast it back to text box then um, previous page dot find control the name is self-explanatory then we have to put the ID of the control that we want to find which is text box 1 uh, well it might seems like um, hard to you but let me let me explain again because the text box one is not declared on this page so that's why uh, if we if we just say label dot text equals to so so and so you wouldn't know where to find the text but it would be confused that where's the text box the text box is not declared anywhere inside the result dot ASPX dot CS or the result dot AS ASPX dot a dot ASPX so there's no way on the result page itself that this text so that's what we have to find it using this find control method we find it from the previous page and type cast it back to the text box so then after we've done that now we're good to go so now because we have a label remember we have a label on uh, result dot ASPX so now we have to use this label now to display the information sent from this text box one so now we have to say label one you see here because we have the label on this page we can see it inside the intelligence label one dot text 
equals um, let's do some for fancy uh, my name no sorry I just say the name he submitted is then plus uh, text box one now you see now we can see text box one because we've used the uh, find control text box one dot text so whatever is written inside the text box one of the previous page will be displayed inside the label of this page so let's uh, give that a shot and see how it goes so let's hope there's no error oops <laughs> yeah it's expected uh, let's see where is expected oh sorry ah uh, you see I told you I always forget stuff I was this is what I was trying to show you something I forgot to delete it <sighs> I don't like to I don't like to create videos and make everything polished I want to see errors as they happen in real life so that you know what to look for when there is errors when there are errors because if I'm uh, edit the videos and you don't see the errors when you make the mistake you don't know what to look for so I don't want to sound like a lecturer that sounds like they know everything whereas they have to read before they come to class <laughs> sorry about that okay now let's try it let's go let's you see now we get an empty string because we did not how we got to the result page so let's try for input my name is James Johnson that's not my name but um, you get a point so click on the button we are on default 3 dot ASPX if you click on the button we get to the result page and it said the name you submitted is James Johnson so what if we just go to the result page without coming from the let's see what happened let me open a new tab um, okay let me just without clicking the button let's say result dot ASPX and uh, you see what happened because um, we do not know anything about the previous page we just display label it didn't even display the text that says your name is and leave the rest empty it's because uh, we have enclosed we enclosed everything in the if statement so um, that's why we have to check if the page equals to no if the page if there's no existing page it skips this it will skip this entirely remember if it doesn't know if there's no previous page if there's no previous page then all it displays to you is this this is what you saw isn't it this is what it displays to you so that's what it looks like that's what it displays to you because there was no previous page so that's why we enclosed it in the previous page uh, let me see where is it again encloses in the stack so that's how you send the information so now you've learned how to find control from any page if you want to find any control because you want to use uh, some of the properties of that controls in the current page that you're on so for example you want to use um, the text box value of your default page in your um, register page this you can find the control using this method then once you use this method to find the control then you can access the property of the control so um, I'm sure I hope you've uh, learned something new so um, if you have any question, leave me a comment on the blog and I will try my best to answer your question. Thank you.